Hey everyone, hi. Uh, yeah, okay. So, Indian Kitchen Queen has a question about something that Joseph Ally said. The question is, as Joseph Ally said, visualize our end result and feel it and forget about desire. What should I do? Forget desire and try to maintain that whole state all day. I already have my desire, for example. I think that's what you mean with exp. I imagined I am married. What should I do? Should I forget I am married and try to maintain that state the whole day I am married? Okay. Um, I think I understand your question, Indian Kitchen Queen. I think your question is, should I drop my desire or should I continue to stay in the wish fulfilled? Well, actually, it's one and the same. And let me explain. But first of all, I want to say I'm not Joseph. So how he meant it, I can only guess. And I'm not going to guess how he meant it. I'm going to tell you what my perspective is of it. And um, what I also want to tell you is try to listen to your inner being. Because you know everything there is to know you're the creator of your universe and you know but I'll get back to that later in this uh, video how you can do that so um, you dropping the desire means that you're not yearning for it because when something is already done when something is there, you don't desire it anymore because you have it. So when you are really living in the wish fulfilled, so not make believe, but you really feel it, then you don't have the desire anymore because you feel it's there. Maybe I can explain it. Maybe you already get it, but maybe someone else needs some more examples. When you feel like having an ice cream, you know that feeling and that uh, th that you can almost taste it and you know how the ice feels in your mouth and yeah, you can just really taste it already before you have it. So you have the desire for an ice cream. When you buy the ice cream and you have the ice cream, you don't desire it anymore, you're enjoying it. You are enjoying the ice cream, you're appreciating the ice cream, but you're not desiring it anymore because you have it. Do you feel the difference? So <clears throat> when you drop a desire, then you drop the wanting, then you drop the needing because you already have it. I love to watch videos that explain um, these concepts and I have two really amazing videos for you that I will put in the description of this video and then I will always also link to a playlist that will help you building belief or staying in your belief continuing in your belief it's a playlist that I made of videos from other people and then uh, to come back to your inner being knows what I mean by that is do you know this feeling of feeling completely comfortable and just happy for no reason, really in tune with yourself? Then something happens, you have a thought that's not so nice, something happens in your outside world that makes you feel not so nice and then you don't feel so great anymore. That is your inner being telling you that you're thinking something that is off or that is something, something is happening outside of you that you have a thought about that is not so nice. The thing is Abraham teaches us, Abraham Hicks, and I'm not sure if Neville says this as well, probably somewhere too because their teachings are pretty similar. Um, your inner being is love and it is flow and whenever you think something that's not love 
or that's not in the flow, then you feel off. And when you feel off, you're not aligned with your higher self. You're not aligned with your inner being at that time. So when it comes back, when we go back to the desire that you have um, to be married to, married to your specific person, you already know that everything exists simultaneously, right? Um, all the things that you can think of already exist. Creation is finished, as Neville Goddard says, and many more teachers say this. So you are married to your specific person. Um, in a dimension that is parallel to this one. The only thing that you need to do is attune to that reality. And how do you attune to that reality? By staying in the wish fulfilled, by doing the mental work, by clearing yourself from anger, sadness, unworthiness, all this stuff. And how do you know if you're on track? You can feel that. When you feel good, you know you're on track. When you're not feeling good, you're off track. It's that simple. So I hope I answered your question and I gave you a little bit more information that you can work with. And yeah, you've got this. And congratulations on your marriage. And I will see you back in here soon. Mwah.